Hi, I'm Terry Soley from the Mayo Clinic Health System in Northwest Wisconsin. 3D mammography or tomosynthesis is the ability to take an image of the breast tissue in three dimension, allowing the radiologist to look at the detail within the breast in a way never before possible. Digital mammography or 2D mammography allows us to image the breast in one dimension or in one plane, very similar to comparing a loaf of bread to a sliced loaf of bread. Patients often wonder what is the difference between 2D mammography and 3D when they come in for their mammogram. Actually for the patient there's not much of a difference, that she may only be in compression five additional seconds for the tomo image to be completed. Let's take a look at an example of comparing 2D mammography to a loaf of bread. A 2D mammography exam gives you a flat image, one dimension, very similar to looking at a loaf of bread. You see and know that it's a loaf of bread, but you don't know what's inside that loaf of bread until you're able to look inside the tissue. The breast tissue is, very, is stacked upon itself, so there's no amount of compression that we can use to separate all areas of the breast tissue. That makes looking at a 2D image of the breast tissue hard to find some abnormalities and microscopic breast calcifications. 3D mammography is similar to looking at a sliced loaf of bread. Today we're going to be looking at raisin dough bread because the glandular tissue is naturally stacked upon itself in the breast tissue. When we compress, we can only separate specific areas. But with digital mammography, and 3D in particular, we can take and the radiologist can look at millimeter slices through the breast tissue, looking and comparing at each area to determine if the shape and form of that area is normal or benign. If something abnormal is growing within the breast, they can take out that millimeter slice, look closely at that area to ensure whether the shape and form is normal or abnormal for that patient. It allows us to see in between each glandular area. Women are always trying to decide whether they should have a 2D or a 3D mammography exam and what we tell them to do is to first look at their family history. If they have a strong family history of breast cancer, we would recommend 3D. If they have very dense or glandular breast tissue, we would recommend 3D. And this is always an option for the patient to talk to her provider about because in her mammogram report it will state what percent of breast tissue is glandular and yet to change. And for other women we look at have they been called back in the past for additional imaging from their screening mammogram? And if there's someone who has been called back for an area of concern, we would also recommend 3D mammography for them. Mayo Clinic recommends women have an annual mammogram by age 40 and annually thereafter. Together with your provider, you can discuss your risk factors, your breast density, and the frequency of mammography that is appropriate for you. To schedule your mammogram, please call Mayo Clinic Health System at 715-838-3926.